right, welcome to Netsport Insights. I'm here with Oliver Wright. Welcome, Oliver. It's lovely Hi. to see you. It's really nice to be here. Thanks very much, Kat. Yeah, it's nice to actually see you in person for a it's change. It's been quite strange <laughs> to meet one or two people in person. Yeah. I've only ever sort of dealt with virtually, so yeah, it's been a really yeah. good day so no. far. Oh, that's fantastic. So before we get into the topic, can you just introduce yourself? This is the bit I always hate. <laughs> <you sort> of <laughs> I thought you don't want to talk know, about me. What's the important bit to, to yeah. get in? I've, I've been a teacher for about 25 years. Mm. I've been a head teacher for eight years across two schools, very, very different schools. Um, now work out of, of headship, um, developing leadership resources. So yes, yeah. yeah, it's, it's all good. I'm also a chair of governors for a local primary school and just enjoying being here today. So yeah, thanks for having yeah, me that's on. great. Yeah, you said it was your first time at that as well. Yes, you, so. yeah, it sort of blew my mind a little bit when you mm. walked in and realised how big it was. It's huge, isn't it? Yeah, Especially you can look because at the, the maps and look at the lists and it yeah. doesn't really communicate how big it is. No, definitely not. Yeah. Um, so what was the topic that you were passionate to talk about today? Um, we were going to talk about leadership mm -hmm. and the fact that actually everyone is a leader in mm -hmm. some sense within within education in general Yeah. and that very often most of us are just taking small steps and it's mm. not sort of about being the big I am or the big sort of ego. Yeah. It's about literally recognising what you what you bring to a situation and mm. how you act as a leader within that, whether that's in a one-to-one -one situation with a, an intervention with a child, yep. or whether it's as a support role or as a teacher or as a subject mm. leader or wherever you end up on that sort of, it's not even a career ladder almost, is mm. it? I know some people talk about it as kind of like coming away from that, isn't it? Climbing that idea. type of thing mm. where you're moving and finding what's what's your sweet spot and, yeah. and where is good for you. Mm. So what kind of advice would you give to someone that's looking to find that kind of leader role within themselves? I think some of it is talking to other people because very often we don't recognise it in ourselves. But the moment you have a conversation with somebody else, they'll point out that you're doing certain things or yeah. you're behaving in certain ways. And, and some of it is about how you behave rather than mm. the things that you sort of do or achieve. Um, so talking yeah. to other people and getting them to reflect back to you how you mm. do it. And then thinking about it yourself and just yeah. realizing that you know we all have that leadership in some way mm. um, and just celebrating what you are doing and, and and almost possibly planning a little bit from there as a, yeah. a next step of what you could do that's slightly out of your comfort mm. zone because it's one of those things if you're developing into it you do need to just get nudged forward occasionally yeah absolutely um, and do you think sometimes maybe people don't recognize it because there's a lot of misconceptions about what it means to be a leader? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many times where people will say, well, I'm only a teaching assistant mm. or I'm only a teacher. And mm. actually, they've all got leadership within their yeah. roles. And there's a sort of misconception that people look at it and go, well, unless you're on the senior leadership team mm. or unless you've got leader in your title or unless you're a certain level of leadership, that, mm. that it doesn't count. And actually, yeah. we're all doing it. And I remember, speak, I think you wrote an article before about kind of acts of leadership as well. And there's this kind of also misconception that you have to make big sweeping changes. Yes. And, and so that can also be, I guess, part of those misconceptions of, well, I'm not a leader because I haven't done this big, huge thing. Yeah, and sometimes it is just those little changes changes mm. and tweaking what we're doing because mm. there, there are schools where there might be need to be massive sweeping changes but yeah. generally it's it's just little nudges forwards mm. and little adaptions and then continually moving forward and continually adapting yeah um, and even when you start looking at sort of offset outstanding it's really just good over a long period of time mm. it's not having to be anything extra special necessarily yeah. no that makes complete sense and what would be your advice to help people really focus on those smaller steps I think just see everything that you do as important mm. and recognise that and reflect back on what you've done rather than aiming for that massive thing that you, you know, is going to take years mm. to achieve maybe. Look at it over a very short period of time and what in this half term, what can I do? Or in the next half term, what mm. can I do that's maybe a little bit out of my comfort zone? Yeah. That's maybe a little bit of a step beyond where I've been before but, but doesn't have to be a massive, massive leap. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay, it's been great. Yeah. Thank you.